Since Warpaints came out in TF2, I feel like in terms of weapon customization, that is pretty much as far as we have gone with making our weapons different from any other player in the game. And to be fair, Warpaints are a little bit insane and it gives a lot of different customization. However, I've been noticing some new things popping up on the workshop recently called weapon accessories. And I think these things are super cool and I really want them in the game. But before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that 60% of all of the people watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed to the channel. And if that's you and you're watching and not subscribed, then please make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. It really helped me out. Now, weapon accessories aren't a new thing in gaming. These things aren't the pinnacle of brand new creative ideas like... You know, Apex Legends and Rainbow Six Siege have like weapon charms and other ways to customize your weapons as well. And most other games, it feels like, have different types of weapon accessories. But we haven't seen stuff like that come into TF2. At least not yet. But there has been some stuff popping up on the workshop, like I said, that I wanted to show you guys. And I think they would make an amazing addition to TF2. Okay, so there's a bunch of different ones, and I've seen them on Twitter as well, and these are the ones I've seen so far. The laser sight, which I think looks absolutely insane. I really want this thing. <laughs> I, I really like it. There's also a flashlight attachment as well, which looks really cool. The stocked shotgun, which is nice as well, so you've actually got like a bit of a longer stock on it, and you've got like that cool strap thing. You also have the shell shock, which is just shotgun shells attached to the side of the shotguns you can use in the game which looks cool, even though it's super simple. That sentence gave me so much trouble. I had to do that five different times. And then there's two more slightly insane ones, I guess. And the cloak covered sniper rifle is the first one, which looks so nuts. It is so cool and something I think is quite surprising that as a concept, this one has never made it into the game yet. Now I know this one wasn't made too long ago, like this specific workshop entry, but the idea of wrapping a sniper rifle like that, I don't think is a new one either. So I'm surprised Valve have never really done anything like that. I mean, am I surprised anymore? No, no, not really. But regardless, this is a really cool looking sniper rifle. And, and probably the most out there one that I don't think people will like as much, but I personally think is really nice, the trophy rack. It is basically the exquisite rack attached to a bunch of weapons. I think that this looks hilarious. I know some people will complain that the art style will be ruined and all of that stuff. And they'll be really upset if this ever makes it into the game. But in my personal opinion, I think this looks funny. And I think it suits a game like TF2. Maybe not for the art style, but for the general feel of the game. I, it doesn't feel too out of place. People wear bananas on their heads, for God's sake. I'd still say this looks relatively normal compared to that. I can't see many people who would use it, considering how much of your screen it takes up. But... I think it would be hilarious. I could see this one causing a lot of problems though. So maybe, just maybe, this one could get left out if all of the other ones make it in. I like it, but I don't think the community as a whole will be overly fond of it. But regardless of that, like I said, I think most of the other ones fit within TF2 really well. In my opinion, disagree or not, whatever, I'm not really here to debate the art style, at least not in this video. But I would love to see stuff like this in the game. I, I really would. If you look at most of them, you'll see they are actually really not that big or super noticeable. Like the stock shotgun one, that really doesn't change the shotgun too much. But it's a nice little thing that adds to it. And I think it would just be nice to see that in the game. And I honestly think as well with the laser sight and the flashlight, that they would just be purely cosmetic and the lights wouldn't have to really react to the actual TF2 map. I would fully understand if they were trying to make it like a dynamic light that moved and changed and you could actually see it on the walls and stuff like that. It would be a pay to lose item for sure. And it would be a lot of work to make that happen. So if those two items were purely cosmetic, they would still be amazing little additions to weapons that we're so used to seeing and we've got so used to looking at over how 14 years this game has been going. It's something small that gets added to the weapons, but it's something new and something that could spawn even more ideas for people, people to create and really start to make something different from what we have been seeing. I've honestly seen a load more really creative workshop submissions just for war paints and stuff like that. So imagine if people could start thinking of weapon attachments that they could make as well as really cool creative war paints. 
And I honestly think it would just be something that the TF2 community would get excited about. At least for a little bit, I think it would be really cool to have something completely new that we haven't seen before in this video game. It will make people feel so much better. And it's not like Valve are the ones that are making them fit on all of the weapons. The people who have created these items are also the ones who are making sure they fit onto the weapons properly. And Valve would just have to take them, make them actually show up in game and be something you can get and use. Which I understand is probably a lot harder than I made it sound right there. I've got no idea how to do it. So, do you know what? Still, it, you don't have to make the items at least, you know? Sure, you've got all of the rest of the work. But at least you didn't have to make it. So, I'm going to leave the links to all of these workshop pages in the description down below. So, you can go and vote for them to be put into the game. I'm not sure that will make a huge difference. But it's worth a try. And also, that while you're down there, in the comments, let me know what you guys think of these little weapon add-ons. Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're pointless? I want to know. I personally think that they're really nice. Even though they might not be the biggest thing to be added, it would be quite cool. And it would open the door, like I said, to a bunch of other weapon concepts that we haven't seen before. Also, because these things are on your actual weapons, you'll be able to see these all the time. Which I think would be quite important to some players, because they actually like seeing what they're paying money for, rather than unusuals where you don't see it unless you're taunting. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you check out all the social links down below in the description. And subscribe to the channel and leave it a like if you enjoyed the video. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.